um, to open the meeting. Um, has everyone had a chance to review the minutes from May 4th? Yes. Okay. Do, do I have a motion to accept them? I make a motion we accept from meeting minutes for May 4th. I'll second. I second. Oh, All those I'm beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go down. Um, we have to take the vote. Patty? Yes. Jim? Yes. Fred? Yes. Dan? Yes. And I am yes as well. Um, so we have a quorum, so that's good. Okay. Okay. Um, now, next on the agenda, we have the 22 operating budget, capital budget, and miscellaneous spending. And I know, I'm sure that, um, um, Brian, do we want to discuss the um, the asphalt paving of the elementary school before we get into this? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Um, has everyone seen the letter that came from Keith? Um, went, went to Brian, came back to us. Um, it appears now as though there is a pretty good price um, for getting in early. Um, do we have any questions or comments about that particular expenditure? I am willing to go for it for the full amount and get it over with. I don't believe in delaying till next year. I, Can I ask I, a question I, before we do this? Who's sure. the contractor? Do we know who the contractor, who the low bid contractor is? I I don't know. It's it was whoever did the county bid. I can find that out from Keith if you want. Yeah, I, I, oh, only because if you know Keith didn't know who it was. I, I have no I have no doubt that it's a fine bid, and I would I would absolutely vote to approve it. Um, but I also know there are a lot of guys out there right now that are lowballing when they see holes in a holes in a proposal that they can drive a truck through. Um, and then they hit us up with all sorts of change orders. So that's my only concern is that he really lowballed it because he saw some flaw in our in our proposal in in the in the solicitation that we put out. What, that's my it, only concern. Was it that much lower than the other bids? It was nineteen thousand dollars lower. Yep. Hey, keeps coming others. in. You can ask him in one second. Oh, oh okay. Wonderful. Cool. So it was it was the county bid. It was the county asphalt bid that was put out yeah. by Fur Company. Okay. So we've gone from ninety to seventy three or there there about seventy one, I think. Seventy one. Seventy one. Okay. Right. Um, and we've also got the five thousand that we don't have to transfer from free cash because the schools rescinded their request. Absolutely. Good point, Fred. And we never know what's going to happen with that marijuana money downstream. But you do know the prices will go up next year, inevitably. Yeah. Well, they're going up now. You can right. probably, probably bet the house on that. Um, yeah. yeah, I think this, this is just a big difference between having to fund 45000 and roughly twenty. <laughs> that's That's exactly right. Yeah. 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 Let's just do it. I agree. So, so, so Keith mentions the Keith. We're talking about the uh, the elementary school driveway. Um, okay. The bid price was seventy one and some change. And then you said that there's also another amount for milling, <clears throat> right? So, what should that? What, what do you think that amount should be so that we're safe? That was included in there. The you milling was included in the seventy one three thirty email. Hey, hey, Keith, who's the who's the contractor? This is Pat Devine, or Patty yeah. Devine. <laughs> contractor for the blacktop is Warner Brothers, and the milling contractor. That was the one thing that I was waiting to get more clarification. It was a company I hadn't heard of. Either way, um, if worst case scenario, we went with the second dairy bidder, which was an additional like two thousand dollars. So. So I, I do you mind me asking who the milling me. company was? Who was who was the milling company that you hadn't heard of? I don't have that. I don't okay. have that information in front of me. But Warner's the prime. Warner's was just doing the the paving, not the milling. You just said that the milling company is a second bid, not the 
one that he was never heard of. Right. I, I, I guess I would encourage us to heed the advice of our highway superintendent who will, will know more about the skill set of individual bidders more than our collective body, or at least me individually. And, you know, we should be worried about the price. And if he thinks that the, the, the skill set of the, of the low bidder is, is uh, up to our standards, then, then that's, that sort of is in Keith's court, I think. Right. Well, no, I agree with the, with Warner brothers, if they're the prime, absolutely. Um, that, you know, I just, as I, I don't know if you were on when I was saying earlier, there's been a real propensity lately, yeah. at least in federal contracting to low bid when you've got a solicitation that may not be exactly, a, you know, tight. Uh, and then they, they hit you with change orders. And I just wanted to make, you know, Warner's a top notch contractor. So I'm feeling more comfortable about it. Good. Um, so just uh, moving forward here, I'm sure we can, put our faith in Keith. If uh, something's going to get, if there's going to be a fleecing, he's going to. It's not like there's a hundred miles. It's a parking lot. Yeah. Run, run hey, Bob fighting Kevin. So I can count you in. Nice. All right. If you see Tommy Maha out there, tell him to bring I'm in. I'm already right there. there. He's already oh, my here. Tommy, he's Tommy, oh my goodness. He's been here for like an it's hour. A house. Oh my I let him in the back door. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, do I have a motion to accept the uh, full amount for the paving? I would make uh, a motion. Uh, to Paul. Accept. Yes. Before we do that, do shouldn't we figure out where the money is coming from? Um. Yeah, no. Twenty. No. Why would? We? Yeah, of course. Of course, Fred. Um. I'll check the couch cushions and yeah. Um, no, which which funds it should be coming out of? Um. I guess it's gonna to have to come out of free cash, isn't it? I don't know if that's the. Well, it can come out of one of the. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, we've got other funds there for. You got capital stabilization. We got, got stabilization, stabilization funds that we can use if and, we wanted to. And wasn't yeah. the plan to put some money into stabilization that you guys had talked about? We had talked. We had talked about setting up a new building stabilization fund and putting money into vehicle stabilization. But we've but got that, the, but that already exists, Fred. Vehicle stabilization. The, the vehicle stabilization already exists. We're putting more more money in additional monies. Additional money into that, but starting a new building stabilization mm -hmm. fund. Um, I think that um, Fred. Obviously, we have to find where this money's coming from, and I don't want to put the cart before the horse. But um, I think as a as a committee, we have to ask whether or not we are in agreement that we should move forward with this question and then shoot it over to Brian Domina. I think that's out. a CARES Act. You can use the CARES Act because we're gonna stimulate the economy. There you go. I don't know, I don't know why you couldn't use it for that. I, Brian, I, Brian, can you add some, uh, can you shed some light on this? Where, um, cause you have the numbers in front of you. I unfortunately do not. Um, where do you think this money's going to come from? You just take it from stabilization, uh, a free cash thing. Um, Cause we were going to take 45 from free cash yep. because it was 90, but now it's 71. So now we're down to, um, you know, 35 and change coming out of free cash. Um, so what would that do for our, our re remaining free cash would be, would now go down to, um, yeah. What about the 5,000 from it, Frontier? It'd, go, it'd be going down to about one, uh, about 150. About 150, yeah. And that's lower than historic. It is. And, um, and then we get the five on top of that as, uh, as we just stated. Um, well, the, I, Brian, isn't five the five out. already been removed? Yeah. yeah. So that 178 reflects the five that's already gone back in. Yeah. <clears throat> I'd feel better if we took it out of general stabilization. Cares money, cares. And I, then we'll... I, <clears throat> 
I agree with Tommy. I mean, we put in money last year into stabilization to 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 offset any shortfalls we had coming up, and and I think this is this is just building into what we laid out last year. Yeah. Um, and, and the other thing is that, I mean, it has to be voted upon anyway, so it's not like we're just going to move that money and pay. So, at the end of the day, it's it's existing funds that the town currently has. All right. And we can decide where to take it from, or that has to be put to a vote at town meeting. Well, right. No, we've got, to, we've got to put it in the warrant for town meeting to vote on where it's coming from. Right. Yeah. For our suggestion. Right. For our suggestion. So the 45000 comes out of free cash and 30, 35 and some change or whatever comes out of the general stabilization, which would leave 250000 in there. Right. Right. Uh, so that's pretty healthy. That sounds good. The, the other difference it's going to make to use stabilization funds, don't we need two thirds vote? Yep. Yeah. yeah you do. Yep. I'm not worried about that personally. Well, uh, I, I know, but it's another consideration. You're talking about the schools. They'll give you any. They'll give them anything they want. Yeah. So, I can't remember the last time we had a, had a, had a vote that failed to, on the stabilization front for so many years. So I, if it fails coming out of stabilization, we'll figure out where else where to get it ourselves. So. Right. Uh, Brian, could you give us an exact number that we're going to vote on? Well, so so my question for Keith is, what amount do you want? Well, uh, well what amount do you need? I suggest, as I said, the, the current number is was seventy one thousand three hundred and something. My yes. contingency that I have is that if I have to go with the next higher bidder for milling, it adds about two thousand dollars. So to be safe for budget numbers, I would put it seventy four thousand and go with a straight seventy four thousand knowing that more than likely it's going to be 71 something. Okay. Sounds like a good, good idea. So we're moving $29,000 from general stabilization. Yes. To right. make this happen. Yeah. Okay. okay. I make a motion that that is what we do. I second it. <laughs> okay, we'll take a roll call for a vote. I am yes. Patty? Yes. Jim? Yes. Fred? Yes. Bob? Yes. Tom is yes. Dan? Yes. Okay. That's a unanimous vote. We move that money and we will take care of that parking lot this year, this coming year once and for all. Good. Yep. Okay. Dunsky. Duns all right. Um, Next, um, Brian. Yep. Do we want to get back to the operating budget and the um, and the sheet for you to? Yeah, you want me to just start running through the warrant? Yeah, yeah. Wait for that. <laughs> My wife did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody's got June 15th, 6 o'clock p.m. outside at the elementary school on their calendars, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, so um, Article 1, 2, and 3 are pretty generic boilerplate articles that we vote on. Yeah. Um, 4 is also <clears throat> pretty boilerplate, that's to and uh, gives us the right to open bank accounts, the town the right to open bank accounts. Article five is to spend grant monies in anticipation of reimbursement. Um, so article six is the first one that's really finance related. Um, there are, it's not shown here, but there are two changes here um, from last year. The first one is a public hearing revolving fund. And that is it. That's an account that's set up really in and out um, to pay for legal advertising. Um, and so there's a, there's a spending limit and we, um, because of the increase in applications for land use, mostly due to marijuana, uh, marijuana establishments, um, the spending limit 
for that account needs to be raised. Um, and we're recommending $10,000. Um, so we've had an increase in applications, tremendous increase in applications. And now the cost of a legal advertisement is somewhere in the ballpark of uh, $300, $350 a pop. So we go through that pretty quick. Um, it's not that we're appropriating money. It's just that's how much money we can spend out of the account. And the other one is the Cemetery Commissioner's Revolving Fund. Um, so what drives this is, is really how many burials there are. Um, but the cost of burials has gone up as well. This used to be 2000 and and that doesn't take us very long to exceed that limit. Um, so those are the two changes that are proposed there. So do you want to run through these or do we want to vote once or do you want to vote at each one? I think we'll, uh, we'll put this out to, we, every, everybody has a screen in front of them. Yeah, Take does. a look at it. Are there any questions, comments on those figures? Nope. If not, uh, would like to vote on them all at the same time. Do I have a motion? I move we motion. vote on everything at the same time. I'll second. Un un unless one is pulled out for a separate vote. Okay. If, if we have a debate on something, we can pull it out and vote separately if we need Absolutely. To. Would anyone challenge that? And by having one of these figures, one of these funds removed from this coming vote? No. No. Okay. So we're going to go right down the list. Um, we are approving all of these numbers for each of these funds. Uh, Paul, yes. Patty? Yes. Jim? Yes. Fred? Yes. Bob? Yes. Tom? Yes. Dan? Yes. Okay. Passes. Um, next one is um, salaries or compensations of elected officers. Um, so this is um, adjusted by the 2% COLA in the only, um, yeah, it's adjusted by 2% COLA. I think all of these, yeah, yeah, 2% COLA. Okay. Um, so we see all of these in front of us right now. Are there any questions or comments <clears throat> that you see or you may anticipate might come up on town floor. How much more is it than last year? The bottom number, the total number. In terms of, you'd have to give me a minute to calculate that. What are you new? <laughs> you should have that. You should know that question's coming. Sometimes. Uh, I didn't think you're going to be here. Oh. <laughs> it wasn't quite nice enough. <laughs> Two percent over last year. That's what the number is. That's, yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, Two percent over last year. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think I think the the elephant in the room regarding this chart is why does the select board chair make so much more than the others? What are the responsibilities of the chair? Okay, we don't press. really know that because we don't get to talk to the press. Okay. Yeah, they no, have I mean, I it is what it is. It has a you know, it's a two percent increase. Any There's final question? Wow. It's less than two hundred dollars. It's not a huge amount more. It's it's no. less than two hundred dollars. It's less than ten percent. I know. Yeah. Well, I mean, it looks like more because it starts with a two instead of with a one. Yeah. But if you actually subtract the two numbers, it's less than two hundred dollars. Well, you know what Ben Franklin said, Joyce. You take care of the pennies, and the dollars take care of themselves. You're right; they do. Okay, there you go. And nonetheless, right. the difference is still very small. It's not so much more. Okay, no more joking. Joyce is on. All okay. right. <laughs> All right. Um, here we go. We do I have a motion to vote on these as a unit? I'll move. We vote as a unit. I'll okay. second it. We will vote on this as a unit. Are there any um, final questions? No? Okay. 
We will vote. Paul? Yes. Patty? Yes. Jim? Yes. Fred? Yes. Bob? Yes. Tom? Yes. Dan? Yes. Okay. Passes. Okay, Brian. Let's go. Next one, we have Enterprise Funds, appropriate 406-909. In regards to the Enterprise Fund Water Department, are there any questions? 2.84 is not bad. No. 2.84% increase? Uh, depends on how big the number is. Yeah, there's a lot of work being done. 11,230. Yep. Um, okay. Is it relatively easy to find out how much um, individuals that are on the water system are paying for 10,000 gallons of water? Is that a number that is... Um, that we know that you get, a, you get it on your bill. I'm, I'm, uh, unfortunately, we don't have town water. <clears throat> no, much as I'd like to. Yeah. So that number is easily, um, so we can find that out. Okay. Yes. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. good. Um, any final questions or thoughts regarding the, the enterprise fund? Okay. So, for a grand total of $406,909 with a two a motion, we accept it as, re as we see it. I second. second. Okay, we'll, we'll take a vote. Paul? Yes. Dan? Yes. Tom? Yes. Bob? Yes. Fred? Yes. Jim? Yes. Patty? Yes. Okay, it passes. Okay, Brian, we're good. Next one is the operating budget. Okay. Um, Brian, can you look blow how, that up just look a Look how push. small it is. Yeah. <laughs> Make it darker. I think it's a pretty good size. A pretty good amount, not small amount. <laughs> Read you blind people get glasses. Yeah, I'm wearing glasses. I'm wearing glasses. <laughs> well, get better ones. <laughs> How's that? There, better. So this is the this is the just cut and pasted from the the budget that I that we have been working on. All right, can you scroll it a little? Yeah, there you go. Got to come up. Yeah, good. Okay. Okay. Um, let's have a dialogue pr now, prior to getting to town floor, Brian. Yep. Um, when you look at this, you're going to say, wow, what happened to general government? Yep. Um, so obviously we look at, we look at the numbers, we go, you know, we've got an audit coming. Select board administration has got a little increase there building operations, treasurer collector. Has anything been added to this list under general government that had not been there in previous years? <clears throat> um, yeah, it's the last line item right there. That's, that's the additional staff person. Okay. Oh, okay. Community development, that's it. Okay. Yeah. So that's that person, right. Can that, I also be... Ask. What is it about the assessor's line item that why are the assessors getting a, a, an 11, almost $12,000 bump? Did I miss something? Uh, it's an eight, 80, almost 8,500. No. No. The assessors. That's, oh, yeah. The almost $12,000. Almost 12. We, we, look, that's, Fred can talk. That's to hire a consultant to do the reevaluation and to evaluate the, the utilities. Uh, this has been presented before, I guess, with a more specific detail from our assessor. So, 
That's yep. that's a nine 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 thousand something item just for that. It's a one time deal. So at the time we discussed it, it appeared and sounded like it was um, um, a number that we should go with. From a okay, and that requirement is kind of mandated by the state. You do okay. that, or else you're going to lose some uh, assessed value. I'm just asking. That's okay. all right. Okay. okay. Brian, should this come up on town floor? Um, I will point to you and ask you to please explain the community development um, role, uh, which we are all behind. Yeah, absolutely, and I'll have I'll have material that in the in the annual town meeting booklet that will explain that. That okay. Uh, hopefully, if people read it, they'll they'll have a sense of 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 why we need it. Sure. Um, and why it's in the best, the town's best interest to do it. Yeah. Um, and whatever the residents decide is what we'll make, we'll make work. Is it, is it because there's that much work? We got people working that don't, can't do their jobs or somebody just doesn't want to do their job and pawns it off to somebody else. Um, uh, I think it's, has a lot to do with um, lack of volunteerism, to be honest with you. Um, things are getting more technical, things are getting more complicated, they're getting more regulated. Um, and people just don't want to, people either don't have the time or, or don't want to put in the time and, uh, things are just going to start sitting. Um, you know, I, I, I think if you just think about, I mean, there are a number of meetings that require that notes be taken and kept and stored and I would imagine that's not happening in a number of committees within this town and in other towns. And let's be honest, if Amy wasn't here doing this and one of us had to take these notes, it wouldn't happen. We'd all turn on our, we, <laughs> we wouldn't be here, you know, I mean, maybe for a year or two, but then after that, um, you know, so, I mean, it's a big deal. It's a big part of this. And, you know uh, Sorry. I think the other the other benefit is is the ability to apply for grants, new state funding, and, and at the federal level, all this money that's going to supposedly come available to the local agencies. We need a person to to uh, apply for that, and you know the one grant is going to cover the fifty five thousand if we get something additional. So, but but it also goes. I mean, take a step back, and it goes to what Brian was talking about in terms of volunteerism. Th there are so many committees that come up with great ideas. They have great initiatives. They want to do things, but they don't have the bandwidth because they are by de definition volunteers to follow through and actually implement the things that we all want to see happen. And, and this person's more than just a, a clerical person. And it's more than just a grant writer. This person can help drive projects that a volunteer body can't possibly do because they've all got their own lives to live. You don't have to sell it to me. You got to sell it to the taxpayer. Well, yeah. that's, that's, I, that's, I know that. I understand that. Right. That That's how you're going to sell it. And they'll all understand it is my guess. Uh, <laughs> I think yeah, all I, they I have think... to do, all they have to do is get a couple of good grants and they pay for their salary. So yes. Well, yeah, I, I think between the grants and the fact that you've got committees not doing things they should be doing. That's a better line. The committee's not doing things. they. Well, they no, I think I, they whoever can't. the person is, is going to start work roughly two months behind, maybe more, as, as soon as the first day of work. And, and you guys, it's not that the, com the committees don't do it. They can't do it. They don't have the capacity to do it. They want to do it, but they don't have the capacity. Yep. 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 Absolutely. Okay. That was a good discussion. Hope we all feel more comfortable with this. So general government, I make a motion. We accept that as we see it. Second. Okay. Then we will take a roll call vote. Dan. Aye. Tom. Aye. Bob. Aye. Okay. Fred. Aye. And Jim. Yes. Patty. Yep. And I'm yes. Paul's yes as well. Okay. General government's good. Cultural Recreation Services is the next one.
My, um, just to jump on this, I would imagine that someone is going to ask the question, what's going on with Tritown Beach? Why are we putting $5,396 in there? Um, and um, I would say that something's going to happen and we need to fund them at a minimal amount so that they can move forward with what projects they want to do. And um, if someone could add to that, um, it would be helpful. Um, well, I think the question will be, why is it up 30% over last year? Right. Yep. Pride Town Beach has over the years, and again, I, I, I just got on the commission what, two months ago, three months ago. Yeah. Um, and, but we all as residents have seen it become a money pit. And it has been, there have been things that have been through, again, no fault of anyone, lack of volunteers and lack of capacity. Um, it, it, there are certain things that have been neglected. The pond is going to close this year so that we can actually take the bull by the horns and take action on some of the things that need to happen to, to clean up the, the bottom, to make sure that the, the weeds go away, to take out the unsightly fences, to, to, to know what we need to do. I mean, we're gonna have to replace the bathhouse. So the, 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 the dollars are not gonna go away if we wanna do it. Otherwise it's just gonna be continuously a money pit. So we gotta know what we don't know and we have to prepare to defend future costs to turn this place around. And to make it an asset in, in, instead of a um, a liability to the town. What bothers me, John, is we don't know where the money has gone in the past. We we don't know where the money's been spent. There, there's been no transparency that I'm aware of. And 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 Jim, I couldn't agree with you more. Um, but I don't know how to fix that. You know, it, it's it's looking back and saying, I you know. I, I don't know. I know that people haven't been charged their their annual membership dues when they use the pond. Um, you know, there's just a, a, a big unknown there. And all I can say is we need to just fix it moving forward. And the the appropriate data will be kept from, from here on out. And But that being said, we better find a couple more commission members to help because I got to tell you, there are two of us right now. Mm -hmm. And to hearken, and I guarantee you that I'm going to be on the phone with the new community development person saying, hi, how are you? Because, <laughs> you know, we, we yeah. need to start. And so, Jim, again, I don't want to beat a dead horse. I agree with you, but I don't think we can fix that. Mm -hmm. um, can we um, just moving forward here to make the taxpayer feel um a little better, um, though it's not a great amount of money, but it is a very visible piece of the town. Um, that and everything you had just said, you know, I'm sure we'll have, um, will hit home with people. Um, but the issue about who runs the books there is not going away, and whomever ran the books last time um, prior years um, it was not transparent as Jim said um, but moving forward I know you want to change that um, but if we can have some sense that whomever the individual or individuals are that are manning the books for this department um, everything's right out in the open well, and, and, and Paul, I, I agree with you, but what it's going to come down to is stronger communication between the commission and the, and the accounting uh, staff in the town of Deerfield, because yep. the town of Deerfield is the fiduciary, you know, they're the, what am I looking for, Brian? The lead. Money uh, grubbers. They're the uh, fiscal agent for the Tri-Town Beach the District. Fiscal agent for the fiscal Tri agent. So it, it, it's, it's going to come down to much stronger communication and firm requests yeah. Um, and I'm going to make sure that I have access to the books. Yeah. Um, I don't know how that works from, you know, town to town, or mm -hmm. I'm going to make sure that they're shared with, 
with, with the accounting staff in Waitley so that then I can see it because I can't go to the town of Deerfield and say, I want to see your books. But I can, as a select board member, as a commission member, say to the town of Waitley, I want to see the books. Good. Okay. So, so Jonathan, what's uh, Deerfield's fiscal role in this? They're the fiscal agent. Uh, uh, do they, are they contributing money every year for the budget? They absolutely do. And they con sure. contribute more than three times what we contribute. That's called leverage. Right. Well, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, but but you know what? It's still wait. It's still within the geographic footprint. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not disagreeing. I just. I know they use it as leverage. Yeah. But this doesn't really give you a, a true picture of the cost of operating that. Troy no. Beach. We're gonna, Fred. We're gonna. We're gonna dig into that. I know. But but fortunately, we don't have to worry about the true cost of operating it in the immediate we need to figure out how to fix the place first right then when it reopens in 2022 then we take a look at the true cost well before that we take a, tr tr a look at the true cost of operating it but again my vision and i've shared this with you guys a little bit and if i get half of my vision i'll be thrilled with, that we make it more than just a place to go swimming and 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 that will both add to the cost but it will also add to the fees that we that we charge um, we'll be able to implement a, a, a fee system and a structure. Um, I want to treat this like a, a business. And if, and if we have to privatize it, if we have to find someone who thinks that they can make money running our district, I'm all for it. As long as it's a service to the town, it's an asset to the town, and we can, and we can get bigger, better, faster, and stronger because of partially because of Tri-Town. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, if that um, kind of conversation comes on town floor, then I, I, you know, I think there's going to be a lot of support um, for it. Okay, so um, thank you. We have the Rec Commission, Cemetery Commission, um, Library, South County Senior Center. This is another one that is uh, uh, somewhat of a sore spot, uh, but um, and one that we have we have found that it's been challenging throughout the years, um, the last three or four years. It's like Tritown with a bigger number. Yeah, yep. that's exactly it. Um, but, you know, in this day and age with COVID and some the things that they did do for seniors and meals and all that kind of stuff, um, it, uh, you know, I don't know as we have the, um, the right really to try to pull this out. Um, but moving forward, we have to be able to tell the taxpayer of Waitley that Waitley residents are using this thing. And we have to be able to prove it. Yeah, they not just um, you know, hearsay. <laughs> you know, I know a couple of people down on, you know, State yeah. Road that use it. Uh, None of these should go over there and spy. Yeah. Um, I, <laughs> not, gonna, not gonna not going to happen. Yeah, you know, this will come this will come up again next year because uh, you know, I'm sure they'll come back from one month and then again. So, um anyway, I'll get off my box. Okay, any other comments or thoughts about anything else on here? I make a motion we approve it as read. I second. Okay, let's take a vote. Patty? Yep. Jim? Yes. Fred? Yes. Bob? Sure. Tom? Yes. Dan? Yes. And I am Paul? Yes. Okay. Done deal. Next one, public health. Um, the big increase was in the foothills and that's because they had to add right a uh, person to do uh, tra uh, tracing covid covid right. stuff yep. you know there's nothing yep. you're going to do about it yeah can we get that funded from the some of our covid revenue care money care money it's called care money brian we know nothing about the care money up to this point right um we know a little bit more about arpa um but I, I mean, it's something we could definitely look into. 
That would be uh, well, it's gonna that'd be nice. And we'll take Do we have to too. spend it on specific things, or are we can we put it just put it in free cash or? Um. So. So one of the one of the interesting things that they're go, that they're going to allow is they're going to allow uh, municipalities to to collect what's what they consider lost revenue from the pandemic. Um, and there's a formula. I, I think you so you're going to project out what your growth would have been. I think I think the factor is about four point one percent. And if your your collections were less than the four point one percent, you could take the difference and put it in your general fund. But how does that work? At 4.1%. 4.1% over your FY19 revenue. I, I understand that, but how how do you... What Minus you your... What if you had more revenue? Then then it, then it you don't get anything. Then you don't okay. get anything for lost okay. revenue. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yep. But in theory, shouldn't that number go down in fiscal 23? Because the, 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 the tracing... Is no longer going to be as dominant of a, a need. It'll be relevant, and whether or not that position stays there. Yeah, I would. I would imagine that position is going to stay. Then it won't go down. Well, they got to justify it, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, I would hope so. But right, I mean, because again, the unless we see an uptick again, God help us. Yeah. You know that that unless they find another purpose for that staff person. Two shells of asparagus up there. They get them outside. Oh, look at him. Uh, do we have others on this call? <laughs> okay. All right. All righty. Let's get back to public health. Um, as we see it right there, we know what the large increase is and why, and I, I think everybody's fine with that. Um, any other comments or questions about public health? I make a motion we accept it as read. Second. Okay. Take a roll call. Dan? Aye. Tom? Aye. Bob? Yep. Fred? Yes. And Jim? Yes. Patty? Yes. Paul, yes. Okay. All righty. Next one, public safety. Could you move that up a little bit? Yep. Thank you. Okay. Okay, we have a 4.28 increase at a $16,651. $16,651 increase at 4.28%, but a total operating budget of 405761. And the gainers was the uh, fire department for $8,800. Um, now, what he did, and you know, he admits this, is he just put the money back in that we took out last year. Right. And he hasn't said this, but my hope would be, and if, you know, barring any catastrophes, he won't need to spend that. He can turn that back in. Whether he will or not, I don't know. Yeah. You know, he's liable to buy hose in, in May and June of next year. Like the school? Yeah. But that's, but if that's the case, then. You know, maybe next year we take the seven thousand away from them, or whatever we took away two years ago. But why don't we just do it now? Um, I wonder I, if any. I wonder if any of this money that he's asking for is going to be going into the implementation of the new communication system. Uh, I because believe. we are responsible to have to uh, pay for the install on these. Yeah, that's a capital. Guys on capital should know that. Yeah, but I don't know if he incorporated that. That's what I'm asking. I don't believe so. Okay. Okay, so, you know, if he spends it on the radios, then so be it. I'm fine with that, but. As long as he documents what he's spending on. Right, that's one of the reasons we knocked them back the last yeah. time. Was yeah, I agree. Yeah. So there's no line item? In terms of what he, uh, there's no line never. item in any budget. Never. There's never a line item. Well, 
I, I mean, I'll, I'll defend rec. We give a very detailed line item on where things are being spent. No, he, he has a detailed budget, but he doesn't stick to it. <laughs> well, <laughs> throw him under the bus. Well, it's true. That, but neither does the school. No. In fairness to him. Hey. So yeah, I'm, I'm not you know. picking on him. I'm just saying that. No, I'm not picking on him either. I'm just, I, I, I know what, what, where the increase came from. I know why the increase is there. And I'm, I'm fine with it. Yep. Well, the increase, you know, as I see it here, you've got, um, Hmm. I would have a hard time explaining this to the taxpayers. Yes. Yeah, yeah. that we took, you know, 7,500 away from them or something. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm looking back at the budget that he submitted, and the line item is finance committee redu reduction, $6,000. Oh, that's, that's it. That's exactly yeah. it. I'm looking at it here. Yeah. He's saying, because he we took it away from him, he wants it back. Right, right. And Yep. Hmm. You know, that's the way it is. And the fire chief has a $2,500 increase in salary. And the firefighters are 284 for a total of 2786 on the salary side. Um, yeah, this, John did not, John did not take that money and put it into usable line items. Um, what can I tell you? You know, I mean, I mean, we can take it again. Um, I guess. Um, mm. But that's not, you know, that's not the issue. The, the real issue is that um, Unavailable. Well, the fire department needs look, John's a John's a good guy. And he's, you know, he's good right. Chief. He's a fire. He's there. Chief. You know, but um, he needs somebody to do the books. You know, he needs somebody to to track this stuff. And then, when you know, we've had this discussion over and over, um, and we're not getting in anywhere with with it. So, um, I'm going to put it on the floor for this budget right now. Fire department budget. With an increase of eighty-eight forty-six, it's the six thousand dollars that we took last year. Added into that is the um, is the salary salary increases, and um, what's that? Now those salary increases did they come? Did that come from the personnel committee? Yes. Yes. Dan. I mean, Tommy. Yes, yes they did. Okay. Uh, the $2,500 increase was, <clears throat> you know, comparing him to other uh, chiefs in the, on the sheet we were using for comparison. And, okay. You know, I mean, it's, yep. it's peanuts, really. Mm -hmm. hey, hey, Brian, Dominic, can we ask, and I, and I, and I know what I'm asking, and, it's, and I, I don't like to have to ask it, but can we ask the town accountant or someone in the administrative offices to help John with his with his budgeting uh, efforts. Not, not just to, to, to sort of be a guy. I think that's a great idea. Uh, it wouldn't. Brian, you're gone. My back now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. back. Yep. It, it's not too much time. It's not a lot of time. It's just a, Hey, this is how you, I mean, we all need, you know, we all want to improve at things we do. Right. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm trying to think how to phrase this. <laughs> Let's spit it out. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think he understands what he needs to do. Um, but I think this is what he chooses to do. Okay. Did I say that nicely? You, 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 you did. did. Politically correct. Correct. And my answer to that would be, 
to force this individual upon him. And then he will say, well, either I do it or I have this other individual who is going to be with me to do it. Right. Uh, so and, this so so this other individual is not going to have the knowledge to come up with these numbers. Yeah. But we can, so, least, but we can but, at least track where money is being spent going forward, so that there's a baseline going forward, and we don't have a baseline. No, uh, we, we have we, we have, have detailed have, budgets of expenses. Yeah, sure. Yeah, no, we, we have, have a baseline for the, for the for the line item that 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 Paul mentioned in terms of finance. What, what was it called, Paul? No, oh, it's just the finance committee reduction line right, item right. from there's last no, year, and now he just, as Tommy said, he just rolled it back in. Just put it back in. Instead there's, of there's, saying, well, I need 2000 here, I need 1000 here, I need 500 He just put it up back as a lump sum from what right. was taken from him last year, which, and I don't know the utilization. I mean, we don't have a usage on here. Appropriate, yeah, expended, we do. Um, well, no, we don't yet. But well, so, Paul, this, is, this is Patty. Did he actually spend the $6,000 that you guys took from him, took from him last year? Did he no. come back and request that money? No, no. no. So it's, it, it sounds more like a contingency fund to me. Kind of. Yeah. I, I think kind of sounds like a cushion. It, yeah. It, yeah, a, por a portion of their budget depends on on no, whether no, they have no. calls or not, right? Um, yeah. So if they have to go to fire, then then it costs us money. But if there's no fires or there's no accidents, then, then it doesn't cost us money. So his is one of those budgets where... It, it, it's hard to predict in terms of salaries um, and I guess a little bit towards expenses, but, um, but you can also look at, you know, historical total spending and, um, you know, 19, it was, it was, uh, what do we do? 19, it was, this is on the detailed budget sheet. Um, 19 was just over $25,000. 20 was $33,000. Obviously 21 is not closed yet. Um, 2018 was a, a busier year, 50,000. Um, and, yeah. and what Patty's saying, Patty's got, I mean, contingency is a perfectly acceptable line item. Let's call it that. And, yeah. and yeah. let's just track it so we know how it's being spent. That's all. Well, that's what the police should do then too. Well, okay, fine. Because they're, they're three times as much. Fine. You can see a guy going to a fire. That's true. I think the other thing we gotta we gotta remember it, it's not gonna solve the, the problem we have today or, or his expenses in the past, but uh, there's gonna be changes in the fire department in the next several years. Yes, and there if are. If we're to look at educating somebody how to develop a budget, we should be involved in that person that's gonna take over from from John in the, in the future. That could be sooner than we all think. Yep. And it's we more critical to train that person rather than John, who yeah, try probably to make doesn't care happen. today what happens. And, well, and, and truth be told, I mean, I've had this conversation with John, so it wouldn't be a surprise to him. I think it's it's the opportunity to, to see what other options we have for our fire department service, a la South County Emergency Management System. Right. 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 But uh, I think we, we need to seriously consider the other people that are going to be in charge in the next few years to get them involved in this process as well. That's sort of my point, Fred. Maybe, maybe, maybe Waitley won't have its own fire department. Maybe, maybe we'll regionalize it. Well, you're talking two different things. You know, one of you is talking, we're going as a group like South County and the other Fred is talking or just, we need somebody to step in and help Adam itemize and present a budget yeah. and mark his expenditures properly. Mm -hmm. And I think he has people on board. I know he does that I, I, if, right. if asked in a nice way would help him do that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But he's not willing at this point to accept mm -hmm. that help. Yeah, totally and agree. I think yeah. That may be more important now if we do like you're saying, Jonathan, we're, we're a few years away on that. So I think we want to see something sooner rather than years yeah. down the road. I'm not disagreeing. I think I think we need to just, yeah, you know, just say this is this is part of the job. Right. Yeah, it is part of accountability. 
it, it goes back to the tri town and everything else we've been talking about. Yeah. Accountability. Yeah, nobody, nobody follows through. Mm -hmm. Well, that's you know that's government in a lot of ways because nobody owns <laughs> it. So, um, but with regards to the fire department, um, I would have to say that. John, we, we've got to go back to John and tell him that he cannot put a line item in that says finance committee reduction um, and, 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 and expect it to go back in. Oh. Well, I know he did it. What he has to do is what was suggested. This Jump is my contingency line. line. Oh. Yeah. Because doing that says, na, 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 na. Yeah, I get I it back. I'm going to use it. And this too bad. Take it from... You know, so it, it's it's a slap in the face. Well, um, I, 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 this whiteboard all the time. I mean, you get you got to get used to it. I make a motion here. Can, try can I just clarify something first? Yeah, yeah. So, so this where you're reading finance committee reduction that that line item is something that I insert to reflect the finance committee vote to reduce. So you 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 voted in in FY twenty right, and you voted in FY twenty one to reduce those amounts right. Because because they were sort of um, reductions off the top, you weren't reducing line items. That's why those numbers are there, and they're negative. Uh, what John submitted was was the budget that he sub that he submitted for FY. I'm losing track now. Twenty one. He resubmitted for twenty two. Yeah. Um. So it wasn't like so. So those those line items are for tracking, really. Yeah, Minus the, the reduction. The, for tracking. The reduction last year was because he hadn't really he specified where that money was going. No, he didn't spend it. You voted to level fund expenses. Right. Mm -hmm. um, right. If you know, so, if you see 20 and you've level funded expenses for the fire department in 19, 20 and 21. OK. At 41, that's, 500. That's the issue. Um, yeah. So then what you're saying is that this reduction amount is not back into this budget it is it, it is oh it is it is okay so it that is. that eight thousand eight four six okay so that's the combo between the six grand so why was that put back in uh he because said the same budget that he did in yeah uh in that's why i said let's take it out again let's take it out i agree i mean i that's how i would feel that's that's just one vote, one voting, one mindset. Um, do I have any other thoughts about that? I would feel. Can I can I ask a question? Being sure. that I am the new the newbie on this, um, if for whatever reason he needs to come back and get more money, whether we have God forbid lots of fires and and he has to, he doesn't have this contingency to dip into. How long is the process for him to recoup that, for the for the fire department to recoup that money? Quick, we're, good, us, we're good guys. We just give it right? up. It, it, no, I just I don't know what the I'm asking what the length of time is. I mean, is it is it something that we can turn around and have an emergency meeting? What what's the, what's what's the process? A, a month for a special town meeting. Right, and and, and so so as part of this budget, there's a twenty thousand dollar reserve fund. Um, okay. And the reserve fund can be appropriated by vote of the finance committee. So it would take 48 hours notice for the meeting. Um, assuming, assuming the finance committee keeps that 20,000. Um, so that can be appropriated immediately. Well, within and that can go hours. anywhere. It and that can go anywhere. anywhere. It can go anywhere within the operating budget. Okay. Um, and if we're going to exceed that or it's, it's something outrageous, yeah, we could, uh, the select board could call a special town meeting within 14 days. Um Okay, uh, so I guess the way I look at it is if, if there is a mechanism for which he can appropriate additional funds, should the emergency arrive, then yeah, take it out. Um, but if it's easier on everyone to allow him to have a contingency fund, um, it's always nice to have a cushion. That, that, that was my going to be my comment that we leave the 6,000, we leave it the 6,000 in there and with a with as a as a contingency line item and I, I don't know how you 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 word it in such a way that that's 10 percent of his budget so yeah if we took it out last year, 
if we yeah, took it out. It's ten. It's ten percent of his budget, but he's also been level funded for at least the last four budget cycles. Thank yeah. you. And a lot of a lot of practical budgeting. You see ten percent in a lot of budgets that are crafted. If we were, if if any grant writer worth their salt is going to create a, a grant budget, they've got a ten percent contingency line item in that, and it's yeah. completely acceptable. And it's expected. I think we should leave it as is. I think we leave it as is. It, it think... needs to be there. Oh. Why? Why does it need to be there? As a contingency. There's no rationale. There's no rationale at all for leaving it there when he didn't spend it last year. None. The point of the matter is he had the opportunity to take that $6,000 and put it in one of the line items so that he could do something with it to see it. And then he, as the commander of the budget, could move those monies as the year went forth to spend it. But instead... What we have is we have an individual who didn't do that, um, who was given the 6000 back on paper, and there is no, we can't see a reason to have it. Yes, the contingency is a good idea. Unfortunately, that's our uh -huh. idea. That's not his idea. And the voters of Waitley are going to look at that and say, hmm, how about that? Anyway, that's my two thoughts on it. And uh, my, my point is that, you know, it, it's like we said a little bit earlier, he's been level funded now for three years, right, Brian? Yep. Okay, you've been level funded for three years. How many other departments have gone up in that three years? And he's just asking for a contingency fund. I agree, he needs help in bookkeeping and understanding where he should be putting that. But I don't think we should cut it. I think we should explain to him and have him put it in a different manner into his budget. All right. I, I agree with Roger and I don't, I, I think it would be good for the fire department to have it. And I don't think the fire department should be penalized because the fire chief is not an expert at writing budgets. That's right. That's what I'm driving at, kind of. I agree. Okay. All right. Paul, Paul we're, yeah. we're, I agree with the discussion that's going on today, but why didn't this happen with, with John earlier? And didn't he come to the budget meetings earlier this year to discuss this? Yes, he did. And what was, what was it? Did he respond to our questions? Where it seems we're bringing them up again. Maybe. I, I don't know. I don't well, remember what he said the first time. Did we accept he asked, that? And now we're asking him again for the same thing? Was he asked the first time? I, I don't know. I was not at that meeting. So well, we I, asked him this these questions and he gave us an answer that uh, I guess we accepted. John, now, if, it seems I, the 11th I hour remember, we're asking again. Fred, what I can remember of our discussions with John is he doesn't get specific about much and he, he tends to talk about the budget in a generality type of uh, um, type of way. And, and so nothing sticks out as to why he's, you know, he comes in, I'm going to level fund it, but John, what? So the same thing, happened last year and the year before is going to happen this year. Yeah, well, you know, if I need more, I'll just come and get it. That's, That's why John we should is. cut it. That's what John is. If but, he needs more, if he has a lot of fires, he's going to come and ask for more money. And that's that's how that's how we that's how we operate. But but unless we had the conversation that well, John, we might not fund this line item. I'm not sure it's fair to suddenly not fund the line item when he's not here. Unless yeah. if, he was, if he was told that this is an op, that it's a, it's a serious option that you guys are under taking under consideration, that's one thing. But if he wasn't told that with him not here, I'm not sure it's fair to suddenly do it without him being here. That's what I. That's the, what I'm driving at. Yeah. No, Somebody has to take too. the bull by the horns and explain to him that he has to do this. We have not done that yet. We have asked, and they never for gave years. a good answer. So we love fun. But that's not 
the way we should go about it. We've, we've got to get them to do it. Well, that's not our job. That's I the job of that. the individuals that he reports to. And right. up to this point, that oversight has been lacking. And I would hope those individuals would take it upon themselves to try to rectify this issue. And um, that's enough. That's, um, um, are there any other comments regarding the fire department? 8846, okay, increase. Make a motion um, we rest... vote on it as read. Okay. Um, Second. Okay, so I'm just gonna, this is just the fire department because we had a long conversation about the fire department. So we have his operating budget, 72 to 11, 8846 increase at 13.96%. So I'm gonna go right down the line and tell me yes or no. Dan? Yes. Tom? Yes. Bob? No. Fred? Yes. Jim? No. Patty? Yes. Paul? No. I guess it passes. Four to seven. Okay. Um, okay, fine. All right, let's let's move on. We uh, have now we got to vote on the whole. Yeah, I was saying move. We adopt the public safety budget as presented. I'll second it. Um, okay, before that happens, are there any questions about the rest of the public safety numbers? No. Okay. Then we will move forward with voting on the four zero five seven six one. Operating budget, $16,651 increase at 4.28%. We're going back down the row again. Dan? Yes. Tom? Yes. Bob? Yep. Fred? Yes. Jim? Yes. Patty? Yes. Paul? Yes. Okay. All righty. Next one, Public Works. Public Works. Um, move that up. Yeah, can you move it up just a little bit? All right. You're going the wrong way. I know, right? It's been a long day. <laughs> there you go. Down is up, up is down. Yeah, All right. very good. All right, Public Works. 2% uh, of 3.99 is uh, cost of living increase. Yep. The other 1.5% is probably the salary adjustments that the personnel committee made. Are there any questions or comments regarding the Public Works? No. I make a motion we accept it as read. I second. second. Okay, let's go down. This is a voting on the public works at 2.56% increase. <coughs> um, Patty? Yes. Jim? Yes. Fred? Yes. Bob? Okay. Tom? Yes. Dan? Yes. Paul? Yes. Okay, that's good. All right, insurance and benefits. Boy, this is going to be a tough one. Um, yeah. Comments, questions? Do I have a motion? Make a motion. We accept as read. Second. Okay. We're going to have a vote on the insurance and benefits at $802,266. $42,000 increase at a 5.53% increase. Not much we can do. Not much we can do. Okay. Um, all right, Dan. Yes. Tom. Yes. Bob. Yep. Fred. Yes. Jim. Yes. Patty. Yes. Paul. Yes. Okay, we're good. Okay, let's drop down. Brian. Unclassifieds. 
Okay, we have our unclassified. And here we have uh, any questions? I know we've gone through a lot of this. No, nope. the only question I have is if we're allocating enough of an increase for vehicle fuel as the price of gas has gone up so tremendously. You're right. It's a good question. Um, uh, it, it's an estimate, it's a guess. Um, you can come back for more or we can, you know, that, that can be put more money into it later. Yeah. Um, I mean, generally what's gas in increased by 5%? I don't know. Yeah. More than that. More, well, more than that. Yeah. Yeah. The price indices that we are seeing through the cost field is it's, it projects it between 15 and 20%. Okay, well, you know, we could do. We I could think he's got a pretty good handle on it as to why he put in that increase for his yeah. department and fire department. Yeah. Yeah, um, you know, as as we all know, they can come back and ask some more money, you know, should the, should the price skyrocket or utilization have to really increase, then they can come back for it. Okay, um, I just want to raise the issue. Nope, it's good. Um, are we good? Do I have a motion? Make a Make motion, a motion we, as, as seen. Second it. Second, good. Okay, we'll take a, a vote here. This is on the unclassifieds. $71,453, $472 increase at 0.66%. Dan? Yes. Patty? Yes. Bob? Yeah. Jim? Yes. Fred? Yes. Tom? Yes. Paul, yes. Okay. Cool. All right. The elephant in the room. Here it is. Here it is. The old backbreaker. Um, <laughs> Not this year. <laughs> no, it's true. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, questions? Comments? Um, can't argue with it. No, you can't. Um, Okay, so um, make a motion. We accept that as read. Second. Okay, and this is uh, so we don't total out this. Well, we kind of do. We kind of do. Can I ask a really quick question? Sorry, sure, I was on mute. Go. Um, what about this uh, Frontier ED request? Yeah. Is that captured here? Um, so I was going to ask Brian. Where's that? Ryan. Yeah, um, I'm trying to think how to answer your question. <clears throat> um, the one that they're, the, the request that they're making to use? Yeah. yeah. Um, so we don't see that. That's that's their equivalent to free cash. It's called excess and deficiency for regional school districts. Okay. So that's on their books. We don't <laughs> see that. Um, of course not. But they need, <laughs> yeah, you can of course ask. Not. We're torturing giant animals like crazy and they, we don't see that. Um, yeah. Well, I don't, I don't show it here. Different rules for different people. Um, so that's not, that's not included in this budget. They don't, they don't, are, they don't are we eventually in. going to be responsible for our share of this? <clears throat> that's a Friday afternoon drop. I can't, I'm sorry, our share of which part? What, this, it, I guess I'm not understanding. I mean, do they have a slush fund that's going to pay for this or are they going to come back and ask us for money? To cover the one hundred and fifty-eight thousand seven hundred and thirty dollars that they are currently saying they want to take out of the ND. Um. So they can use their ND in, in whatever way that this school committee votes. So I, it's hard for me to answer. Okay, that. so this is their pot of money. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Why then are they? They're just asking us permission to use it. Yeah, per, per the regional school district, they need to. Okay. Um, <clears throat> they're going to use it counts. anyway. No, gonna I know, but this gets back to my why the heck don't we have better cost estimating? Because no, it's a school. It's a school. <laughs> nobody, nobody challenges the school. That'd be you'd be a heathen. Is yeah. the lower budget request for Frontier due to oh, just a mm -hmm. lower assessment? Yeah. For Waitley, or did they cut things? 
No, they didn't cut things. They didn't cut anything. So it's <laughs> it's the way that the well, they added on to it. The way the percentages worked out in terms of enrollment, things like that. Okay, so it's assessment. Okay. And minimum contributions, yeah. Um, okay. I think Deerfield and, and Sunderland took a hit. It was this year. It was their year this year. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, so we can discuss that E and D issue further. Um, but that doesn't make these numbers. So right. okay. So um what we have is a uh we're voting for the uh, budget for Waitley Elementary, Frontier, Franklin County, and uh, Smith folks on here, but just as a placeholder. Yeah. Um, did we have a motion? Yes, yes we did. Motion. Yeah, as read. Do we have a second? Aye. Okay. All right, then we will have a vote. Jim? Yes. Patty? Yes. Fred? Yes. Bob? Yes. Tom? Yes. Dan? Yes. Paul? Yes. Okay. Schools are done. Um, Last one is debt service. Debt service. Okay. Any questions on our wood chipper excavator? No. No? Okay. Looks like it's being paid down. All right. Do I have a motion for short term debt? Make a motion we accept as read. Second. Second. Okay. We'll vote. Paul, yes. Patty. Yes. Jim. Yes. Fred. Yes. Bob. Yes. Tom. Yes. Dan. Yes. Good. All right. Done. All right. So just to recap, there were no changes to it as written. Correct. No. Correct. Yeah. All right. Article 10, pro uh, proposed financial transfers, uh, $200,000 to reduce free cash. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. $2,000 of free cash to reduce the tax levy. We're going to vote on these, Paul, or are we just going to? Yes. Let's, um, let's vote on these individually. Um, do I have a motion for $200,000 transfer? Mm -hmm. I'll second it. Okay. Let's go down. This is the uh, Article 10. <coughs> Dan? Aye. Tom? Yes. Bob? Yes. Fred? Yes. Jim? Yes. Patty? Yes. Paul? Yes. Article 11. $20,000 to Vehicle Stabilization Fund. Okay. Um, could you scroll down just a little bit? I want to yep. see what's coming up after this. Building stabilization. Okay. All right. So we're going to take Article Eleven. Article Eleven. We're going to take. We're going to take them individually. All right. Gonna... Make a motion. We accept that as read. Okay. All righty. Let's go. Paul. Yes. Patty. Yes. Jim. Yes. Fred. Yes. Bob. Yes. Tom. Yes. Dan. Yes. Okay. Let's go down to Article 12. Article 12, uh, I need to know how to spell fund. You need to know how to spell fund, fund. and I think you need oh. to put in the word to see if the town will vote to create a separate stabilization fund. Yes. Yes. Or find. I'll find. <laughs> You're going to find it. Okay. And we're going to call it. That's good. Town stabilization fund. Yep. My understanding of of the discussion when it when it happened was that it it it's not to be for ordinary maintenance. No. So that's no. why that language is included there. Yep. Correct. Yeah. And, and and this seems to make our traditional stabilization fund, and it's and it's great, uh, more of an emergency fund. Correct. Now we've got an, an auto fund. We've got a town buildings fund. You know, if the if the world caves in, then we have that stabilization to run the town. Yeah, right. And that's how you answer it in town meeting. No, that's true. Any capital item that pops up unexpectedly that they can't handle is not in the budget. Right. Okay. Sounds make good. Motion we accept it as read. Well, as, as amended. Well, with the with some changes, but. 
As amended. Auto, auto correct. Yeah. Okay. The number is still there. Yep. Dan. Aye. Tom. Aye. Bob. Yes. Fred. Yes. Jim. Yes. Patty. Yes. Paul. Yes. Okay. Passed. Again. Okay. Okay. Um, let's take a look at these cat. How many of these articles regarding capital project appropriations are there, um, Brian? Um, eight. There are eight. Okay. So what I would like to do, even though I love saying all of your names over and over, is that um, we, take a look at, so we take a look at them, um, see if we have a discussion. We'll go one by one, no discussions, and we vote on the whole group, capital project groups. Does that sound good? Good idea. Yes. Okay, wonderful. All right, so the first one, Article 13, 21 5, pay for new communications. We, we all spoke about, I mean, we had That's the second half. Yeah, the right. second half of last year's allocation. Right, right. Okay, Article 14, 30,000. Um, free cash, pay per Okay, backup emergency gener generator. We obviously need that. Article 15, town vote transfer sum of 12 grand to pay for the purchase of a new snowplow. We all know how important those are, only in the winter. Okay. Article 16, transfer the sum of 21,000. New commercial oven for Whitley Elementary. Yep. Indeed. Questions, thoughts, comments? No? Okay. Article 17, let's see if the town vote. 45,000 free cash pay for resurfacing of Whitley. Uh, okay, yeah, that's staying just the way it is. Okay, right. Okay, and 18, $20,000 <coughs> for full tile flooring. That's a continuation yeah. of a job that started some time ago. 2000, started in 2000. In two, 2000, okay. In Article 19. Five thousand uh, dollars for the interior and exterior of the police station, painting. Um, in Article Twenty, five thousand dollars from the Water Department Enterprise Fund, Westbrook Road pumping station upgrades. Okay. Okay. Do I have a motion to accept all capital item transfers? I accept all the capital items as read. Second. I'll second it. Okay. We'll take a vote. As read, Dan. Aye. Tom. Aye. Bob. Okay. Fred. Yes. Jim. Yes. Patty. Yes. Paul. Yes. No. Oh. So I, I just want to be clear. I, I started talking and I was muted, so that's not helpful. Yep. Um, we also need an article for the twenty nine thousand from general stabilization. Correct. Yes. Correct. Um, do you want to vote on that as well? Um, yeah, we probably yeah. better. I can add that as article 18 and I'll renumber. Okay. So that it follows the, okay. yeah, and, and that will require a two thirds vote, not a majority. It will require a two thirds vote. Right. Okay. Alrighty. So we all understand what that article will be for the $29,000 and <laughs> we'll do another roll call. Paul. Yes. Patty. Yep. Jim. Yes. Fred. Yes. Bob. Yes. Tom. Yes. Dan. Yes. Okay. There it is. Thank you. Okay. All right. What's next? Got to be more. Here we go. Proposed miscellaneous appropriations. Um, okay. How many of these are there? <laughs> I believe there's three. Okay. First one's $1,000. Pay for crack sealing, town office driveway. C could you scroll up, please? Yep. <clears throat> 22, 15 grand. Police but reform. We don't even know if this is going to be spent yet. No, we don't. I mean, this is. That's a contingency right there. Okay. Yep. But it doesn't say that here. 
Well, no, it doesn't. But the, those costs are going to happen. There's, there's no question about it. Those costs are going to happen. <clears throat> this is I don't think they'll happen in small funded towns. mandate by the state or by the federal government. I don't right. think they'll happen in small towns. No, I well, don't. I don't see how it can. They can't afford it. No. Well, we're still going to be charged for. I mean, we're still going to be required to do. We're going to we're going to lock the door at the police station. Yeah, that's a that's well, a solution. Well, we're going to have. I mean, we can only, you know, support them to the best of our ability. And right now, this 15K um, is going to go towards that. If he doesn't use it, That's he can always right. go back into the funds. But if uh, he goes, goes back, back to free cash, cash where it came from, thousand, then it's not going to happen. Right. But, but, right. but this, isn't, this isn't the chief's fault. This is. Oh, I oh. I'm not saying it is. I'm just okay. saying it's a, the whole system is screwed up. Yeah. There's too many people. We're, we're yep. paying for the sins of urban America. You. There's too many people. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Um, Article 23, again, it's another 20,000 for the 250th. Yeah. Um, and um, if there are any questions about that, ask Fred Barron, because he's our representative to that committee. He's a chairman. Uh, no. You're not. not. <laughs> nope, my nope. wife is a co-chair. Oh, oh. Right. I was close. So, well, um, you know, we're coming up on it. It'll happen. <clears throat> and uh, we committed to this some time ago. So, yep. all right. So let's, um, can we group these all together? Yep. Sure. Okay. So we're going to go. Um, I want to make this sound like we know what we're doing. Could you scroll down a little bit, please, Brian? We're starting with article. Yo, Brian. There you go. You there? Come on. He's scrolling. Come on. Get back in the game, for God's sakes. Put your glove on. Get into the field. Here you go. Here you go. Okay. Was, was this the first one? Yes or what? Yes, it is. Crack 21, ceiling. 21 to 24. Okay. Yeah. Articles 21 to 24. We will vote on them. 24? I thought there were only three articles. Yeah, 23. 23. Three. 21, 22, and 23, yeah. Okay, we're going to vote on articles 21, 22, 23. As written, do I have a motion? I make a motion. We do 21, 22, 23. And we have a second. Okay, we're going to go. I'm going to go up the tree this time. Paul? Yes. Patty? Yes. Jim? Yes. Fred? Yes. Bob? Yes. Tom? Yes. Dan? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, we don't have our Community Preservation Act appropriations. Um, we don't really have any in, input into this. Yeah. You, I think the Finance Committee decided last year that they were not going to take a position on these. No. Right. On the right. warrant. Right. Um, so just keep going. <clears throat> So, so, just so you know, those are the appropriations and um, funding the library, um, the library accessibility project for seventy-five thousand, and then the twenty-one thousand for the Veterans Memorial Park. Um, and then they're returning some funds to their different accounts for projects that are completed, and they had balances left over. Right. Yeah. Thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two are scenic road designations. Right. That are proposed by the planning board. These don't really have too many fi much financial implications. And then the remaining articles are proposed zoning amendments. That's it. That's it. Okay. Okay. We voted, um, and uh, it's been recorded. Okay. Um, all right. So, where in God's name are we? Okay. We are. Um, Frontier E and D. Say that again. Frontier E and D request. That's right. Frontier E and D request. Um, you, are you going to put that on the screen or? Yeah. Or are we just going to wing it? All right. Someday.
silence is a virtue. Mm. It's coming someday. <laughs> Frontier, E and D request. It doesn't want to share it. There it is. So the school committee is requesting you approve proposed amendment, which would reallocate 158,000 and some change of excess and deficiency funds for the purpose of the following projects. Berkshire, Desi uh, Berkshire Design Group for the track architect contract, Mountain View Landscaping contract, track pole vault and high jump landing equipment, nine or 14 passenger van, a gymnasium and auditorium duct cleaning and purchase of new stage curtains. Um, with this amendment, the school committee voted to rescind the previous submitted capital warrant request of $5,434.50 for gymnasium and auditorium duct cleaning and purchase of new stage curtain. Committee's proposed amendment shall be effective if it is approved by two thirds of the local appropriating authorities. Okay. Or we don't do anything in 45 days and it's considered passed. They're going to yeah. do it anyway. So, <laughs> uh, do we have any questions? Patty, yeah, I, have so, we, uh, I have so many questions. Why, <laughs> why do you think um, the money belongs to them? D Modesto well, at front. No. <laughs> and, and no, it, it's, I mean, this is, this is, uh, this is all new to me and I get that and I realize it's not the world that I live in. I understand that. But on the other hand, if they're expecting us to come back and appropriate money from the town in order to refund the e and because I assume it's at some point we're going to have to pitch in some sort of money towards this E&D account. I want to know is, why the heck they blew it by $40,000 on the design. I want to know why we're 8,700 over on the track. That's actually not much. But, you know, it's it's these round numbers bug me. And without any explanation as to why, that bothers me even more. Yeah, that's certainly overage. an issue. Um, they're overages. Um, Brian, correct me if I'm wrong, but for instance, most of this was to have been paid for by, um, by the bond, right? That... That passed a few years ago, and um, and yeah, okay. So then, what they're saying is those monies, oh, except for the overages. I mean, that's yeah, right. It's not what they the that's over their estimates. Yes, yeah, from the bond, correct. This from is a wish list. So they had a list of everything in that bond that they wanted to do at the school, and granted, the most expensive thing was the track if memory serves me correctly. Um, and now they are 40, 50, $75,000 over on the track. Is that whole pole vault thing? That's, that, that's all included. Uh, so they're, 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 they're now 75 grand over on basically the track area. Um, so how much is left in that bond. So, I mean, we, we don't know that. So for instance, if they're over $158,000 and that bond was for $2 million and they have a million left, how come they couldn't pull this from what's remaining in the bond? The school doesn't do that. Well, I, but they get their hand out all the time. Didn't, didn't we agree, and Paul, to follow on your statement, didn't we as a town agree that our portion of the track was going to be paid for out of CPA? CPA. Yeah, exactly. So I, I, I just don't know how this is how this is working. Okay, let, let me... So, let me so we don't ahead. have to vote on this. Since I was Bye. part of their capital improvement committee that looked at the track and funding options and whatever, I guess the, the, the bond was to pay mostly for the, the track and some high priority 
items that uh, capital items that needed to be improved. It right. was never to um, to pay for all the items that needed improvement. Uh, after the first year or two, there was there was uh, monies in the budget, whether it's E and D or, or, or line items or whatever, to pay for other improvements as they were needed. The bond was not going to pay for everything of over a 10 year period because that's what they were looking at over a certain time period mm -hmm. uh, to pay for that. Uh, there was no need to have all that money up front because it wasn't all going to be spent in, the, in year one. Right. Uh, these, right. these costs here, I think uh, the, the bond for the track was uh, the bids came in lower than what was what was allocated for, for the funds. And which meant the bond didn't have to be as expensive as as originally anticipated. So they're looking at taking these items out of the or for the track to pay for on A and D. Now some of these uh, are additions that were not in the original track contract or or bid sheet that, that went out for for bids. Uh, the Berkshire Design Group, I, I think most uh, or some of that is for their oversight of the project. There are the, there are the architects that did the design and, and they assisted in the bidding and all. And there was a discussion made, decision made of who's going to oversee the construction of the project. Do you hire somebody new, another contractor or not? Or you let the school do, try to do it on their own. Well, I think that's where some of this money is for Berkshire Design to oversee that. Okay. And yeah, all these could, like I say, could have been added into the bond, but they're deciding to use the E and D funds to pay for some of these instead. Now, I, I've got a couple of questions about the E and D fund in general. I understand that it's sort of their equivalent of free cash, but is this one hundred fifty-eight thousand? Is that the amount that the bond was over what the cost actually was and they transferred it to E&D? And that's how they came up with this figure and those particular things to fund. Also, I would like to know what, how much money total is in the E&D fund? What percentage of that is this taking out? They'll never tell you. Yeah. Yeah, that money should go back to the taxpayers. They shouldn't go Absolutely. to the school. I'm just concerned about the whole how, how this is. It just strikes me as accounting sleight of hand. That was a bid for the track, not a van. Yeah. Well, the, the committee I was on didn't look at all of that. And why would that? The subcommittee to the Frontier School Committee. And the school committee made the decisions. They know the budget, they know what's in ED, and they have. Uh, uh, priorities of how to spend that E&D money. Uh, that never came back to capital improvement <laughs> committee. It, it just seems to me that they're using the E&D money because, because these things weren't in the original bond, they right. couldn't be funded by it. Yeah. Therefore, yeah. they're shifting the money to some place they can control and fund new projects not in the bond. It's like us going to reserve fund kind of yeah, same thing. Well, no, but it's it's more like we have a capital project comes in under budget that we move to a reserve fund and then take back out for a different project. Yeah. Yep. Well, as long as they have the money and they're not going to come back at us and our our approval of this is is not going to indicate that we are going to pay for this out of our budget then I'm good with that. Ryan, is that what how we should look at this? I, I'll give my opinion. Um, so we don't have, I mean, we have 45 days to, 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 to figure out what we want to do with this. Um, they're all good questions, but it would require uh, um, another meeting. So it's their free cash. Um, I think Patty's point may be that's one hundred fifty-eight thousand dollars that they could spend on something else, um, and uh, maybe that's not Patty's point, but I'll I'll say it anyway and so give her credit. Um, but it's one hundred fifty-eight whatever it is thousand dollars that they could spend on something else. Sometimes E and D can be used to offset any expenses that the that the the, the regional school district has. Um, 
So I would spend it on this or spend it on um, what have you. It, it's it's the prerogative of the school committee to to make that determination. So a lot of these questions, I guess, are, are best answered by by dairiers for the school committee or Shelley. Um, but Is it possible one, to one other... caveat our response to say what Paul had said? You know, hey, you know, go ahead. If it's your free cash, it's your free cash, but don't come with your hand out later. Yeah, you can do that, but scroll this thing up. I, a little. I realize it, it just, it just, I think to me, it puts them more on alert that we're not particularly happy with um, maybe their management of their funds or their bond or whatever it is. Again, I, you know, I, we're just seeing this, you know, snapshot. I'm not, we're not, on, I'm not on the school committee. I, I'm not seeing the detailed budget, but everything we see is a snapshot. And I, for one, if they want us to start kicking in and reimbursing the E&D fund, would want a lot more information than what they're providing now in the future. Yep, I agree with that. <clears throat> Brian, Brian I've got last a minute. Last minute, the track's been done for a while. Yep. Okay. I've got a technical question. Who is the appropriating authority and what, what vote is binding here? Is it town meeting? Is it select board? Is it finance committee? Um, town meeting. Mm, I don't know. I I mean, it, it refers to the town as the authorizing authority, <laughs> but what action is it again? Who who did, makes that determination in the town? Um, I believe it's a select board, but I'm not positive. Why wouldn't it be town meeting? Brian? My understanding is that it's a select board because it's per the regional agreement. Yeah. yeah, go down right there. In other words, no, we don't really have our say doesn't really mean much. No, it doesn't. All we are doing pretty much right now is helping to flush this out and give select board um you know a litany of questions as to how this is going to be paid for and if and we value your input well thank you very much okay i just wanted to clarify what our role in this was yeah yeah it, it it's it, it it's germane to our uh warrant discussion because they're rescinding a presumably if if the towns were not going to approve this, um, they would want their capital item back on the warrant, essentially. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I just wonder what the opportunity cost is. If they spend their E&D money uh, in 150000 some odd dollars, and again, it's a conversation that we can have in, in the select board meeting, but, but what's the opportunity cost? What's not going to be potentially funded because of this? And maybe nothing. I, that's just a question that I would ask. But uh, the question is, were the were these added in before and overbid it, or was the are they just got extra money because they did a good job with the bid? That's the question I have. Was this stuff already counted on being paid for out of the bond? I I don't I don't know that answer, but. But, no, you wouldn't. Nobody would know it. But let me just say, the uh, the subcommittee I was on, the, we met to to look at all the capital improvements that were needed. There was like two pages, like fifty or sixty different specific items that they identified for anywhere from lighting to security issues to doors to lockers, whatever uh, that was all presented to the committee and we ranked in order priorities one, two, and three, what should be funded first, second, and, and third. And that's where some of these, like on the track, you're, you're seeing come up first because, well, for one, we, the track is under construction and these are, I, I think, are gonna be uh, reasonable add-ons to that, that contract. But to uh, look at what else was in there, there's 60 other items that was, was never, presented to the school committee to vote on each one and to rank it. It came out of the subcommittee and that's how we move forward because to present all 60 items to four towns, you'd never reach agreement on which item you wanted to fund. 
I think that, Fred that was the, the reason that uh, priorities were made and, and why some of these, these individual items are funded now and, and rather than, than later. I truly believe in the KISS method here. And the only thing that I am questioning and is if they have $158,730 in an E&D fund ready to go out the door, fine. If what they're asking is that we populate that E&D fund <laughs> with our dollars, well, that's another conversation. So that's, that's where I would leave it. Um, and um, we don't have to vote on this. So, so that's that. I think it just basically amounts to an overage goes back into their budget and it's the way it's always been. Yep. That doesn't make it right. I that understand that. Right. But that has nothing to do with what we're voting on here. No. And when we I voted on to repair the track, we didn't vote on to buy a van. Yeah. Yeah. This is, uh, this, from my understanding, will be decided by the select board and, and the school um, committee. And the school committee. Uh, the school committees are already um, on, on board with this, I'm sure. Um, of course they are. And then, okay. All right. Brian, do you need anything else from us regarding this issue? No. Okay. Okay. Um, um, what do we have next on the agenda, Brian? For some reason. Discuss, go ahead. Uh, discuss future budget tracking and reporting. Yeah. Um, how would everyone feel about another meeting? Live. That would sound good. Downstream a little bit. Because I'll tell you, uh, I'm so zoomed out. Yep. I, can't, I can't zoom in. Um, so um, Two hours can, we, can, can, can we set a date for another meeting in person um, at the old at the old stomping grounds? Boy, I hope so. Brian, I hope so. Good? Got it. Yeah, got I hope it. so. The select board has to vote that, don't they, at their next meeting, Brian? We'll oh, take I, care of it. Just to make it a formal thing. When's that going to happen? Um, when's the next meeting, Jonathan? Uh, June 2nd. June 2nd. Yeah. Okay. And the town, um, oh, the vote's June 8th? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So let's look at June a little bit. And um, how about um, Tuesday? Um, town meeting. Can you tell me when the town meeting is again? 15th. 15th, town meeting. Tentatively. Yeah, right. Okay. How about the 22nd? Yes. Yeah. No? Yes? Yes. Saturday? Sure. No, June. 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 Am I in the wrong oh, look, I'm in the wrong month. <laughs> Very <helps>. good. <laughs> yeah. No, no Saturdays. No, it's in the contract. No, absolutely not. Uh uh. No Fridays. Uh, I, I don't know if I'll be able to make it, but uh, I can try. <laughs> okay. Well, does anyone like another day that's better than Tuesday? We've been doing Tuesdays. So, okay. All righty, uh, the 22nd, uh, FinCom. Um, real. Real, real, yes. This, this, as, long as, as long as Select Board feels comfortable and opening the thing up, then uh, then will be good. Okay. Good. All right, Brian, is there anything that else that you need? 6 p.m.? Yeah. You good? Yeah, um, just that is one of the rain dates for the annual town meeting, but I thought well, it was no. the 29th. 22nd. And oh, it is. And the 29th, yeah. Hey, it could rain twice. It could. Twice three times. Two weeks. It hasn't, but. Okay. Um, does Wednesdays, do Wednesdays work better? 
Uh, I think that data will work. I'm just saying that if okay. town meeting gets rained out, we'll just have to. Oh, okay. I okay. said for the 22nd with a rain date of the 29th. I like that. And then okay. if it rains two weeks in a row, well. Yeah. Hey, we could use the rain now. I'll tell you. Yeah. Okay. Um, inside. Are we good? Good. All right. Meeting yeah. I, and I need the select board to stay on to vote the election warrant. Okay. I'm going to go. I'd love to stay, but I'm out of here. Oh, come on. Our meetings are so exciting. Thank election you. warrant. I bet. Oh, 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 now you show up, Joyce. Now you come on screen. Sure. I, now that we're leaving, I might stay just, just because. Good. Good. Because we need people to hold our feet to the fire. Okay. Let's get going. Staying. I'm leaving. Oh. Okay. Do we adjourn our meeting, Mr. Chair? Uh, our meeting is adjourned. Select uh, finance committee meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let me find it. Did I not send it out? You did. I don't remember seeing it, but I uh, thought I just I thought I just deleted an email from you. I don't remember seeing it. Uh oh. Oh. Yeah, there's a. Uh, 18. Yeah, I don't see. I see an email that was it said signatures for the election warrant asking us to come in. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, the sign, but it didn't have the warrant attached. It had the town of Waitley emblem attached. So it showed well, up under attachments. Brian, can't we just can't you just share your screen and we can vote on what we look at? It's an election warrant. It's sort of pro forma. Yeah, I'm. I'm trying to see if it's on my laptop here. You can just make a motion to to. Uh, to sign the election warrant for June 8th. I'd make a motion that the select board sign the election warrant for June 8th, 2021. And you I'll guys will see it. it. You guys will see it when you sign it. Per, per, per on the assumption that it actually exists. <laughs> Is it posted at the website? We have a second. No, we would post it after. Uh, oh, okay. We would post it after you sign but That's it. not the same thing as the ballot. Because I thought the ballot was posted. No, it's different. It, it's different than the ballot. It's the election warrant that that calls the election for that ballot. Oh, okay. okay so I just second, second it. Yeah, we have a second. Okay, Joy, second. Okay, we need roll call vote. Okay, Jonathan. Yep. Joyce. Yep. Fred. Yes. Okay. That's annoying. Um, sorry about that. That's it. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And how early will the uh, stuff you need signatures be out in the hallway? Um, three hours ago. Oh, it's already out there. Yeah. So I could even. That's where it is. It's it. It's already <laughs> it's at the table. Ready yeah. For me to sign. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll get to it tomorrow late afternoon, probably. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I move the selectman adjourn. Second. All right. Okay, roll call vote. Joyce? Aye. Jonathan? Yep. Fred? Yes. Okay, meeting adjourned.